So by now you know that we are driving the Renault Quid. Uh, I've got Amin Abrams here behind me. He's the sales exec at uh, Pardon Island Motors, uh, uh, Renault Motors in Pardon Island. And then I'm trying to speak a bit loud because this is very impromptu and we didn't actually bring like my mic setup and my gimbal and my car mount and everything else. We're shooting on the iPhone uh, 13 Pro, but let's talk more about the uh, Renault Quid that is. So it's a one liter engine and I mean over here says that this climber costs around 197,000 Rand. It's got how many? 52 kilowatts of power and how many Newton meters of torque? 140 Newton meters of torque. So it's definitely a measly uh, 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 little compared to of course a more powerful vehicle if you are looking for performance. But that's not what the Quad is built for. The Quad is built to give you kind of uh, mini very very compact SUV kind of trims and finishes uh, as they were mentioned uh, earlier but also at an affordable cost so this is a one liter engine as mentioned and there is 256 or 57 liters of boot capacity 276 276 liters of boot capacity and I think I should bring Amin with on all my other videos that I make as well it will be really useful uh, we've got an 8 inch display as you can see and the 8 inch display also has Android Auto and Apple CarPlay uh, Let me mention something for the sales for the salesman uh, You've also got uh, all round uh, electric uh, windows and what else did you mention? The reverse camera And the reverse camera of course And you know I always mention it I'm sorry I don't want to mention specifically which car but check on my channel you'll see this cars that cost 350,000, 360,000 rand, and they've got top distance control. But so your PDC is there cool, and they've got maybe yeah some other sensors, but they never actually have your uh, your reverse camera, and that's like a major yeah it's a what, what do you call it? It's a con. It's a major con. So if you are looking for a um, Renault climber like this one, uh, it does actually sit quite higher than I expected. I've always wanted to drive this car and I told Amin here at the back, I told him that the this car reminds me of the driver. The, tri the driver didn't drive badly, um, very nappy also but it's just a bigger vehicle. This car, this engine just feels more suitable for the size of the car. I think that's, that's my opinion from driving the other cars. And then um, yeah, if you are interested in uh, getting one, I would say that it, it is more spacious than I expected. And that sentence is very popular if you watched any of my other reviews, but that's definitely what I can say. The gearbox is also very, like, it's, it's like actually, it's easy to, to, to switch. Um, and yeah, so Renault uh, is offering and uh, is basically selling, uh, they, they offer is the 125 approach. And the 125 goes like this. They've got one year of um, insur insurance and then two years of service um, plan and then five year warranty for this vehicle. And I think, yeah, so if you ever hear the, car, the, the phrase 125 uh, and you like the way it sounds and you're interested in a Renault climber, uh, a, the, the, the um, quid climber, then you can contact Ami uh, at Pardon Island. Uh, maybe I'll put this numbers down below. So the entry level uh, Renault Quid goes for 177,000 Rand at the moment. But what I want to mention is that this climber obviously has like the more bells and whistles and your accessories. What I do find surprising is the fact that this car has like a digital cluster. Not exactly like your LCD screens uh, like you normally get, but uh, you do have your, uh, you, do not, you don't have the, the old classic dials and obviously if you're a youngster or even someone older and want to be hip and you know, hip on a budget, you've got your digital cluster uh, that's over here. As you can see, um, there are no steering controls. Something I do like very much about the vehicle is the fact that the steering wheel is not small. And I mentioned that uh, in the Suzuki Ignis video because the Ignis is a small car but the steering wheel was massive and it just feels a bit disproportioned and this car's steering wheel is not too big, not too small. It feels like, okay, I can still hold it, I can drive it, but, and it's not, it's not like, 
it's just like Lee or everything is compact. Uh, we've got a canvas or fabric material and then um, cloth seeds, but there is this print or mesh uh, with the orange uh, climber detail on it. Okay, so what's cool about this car is to make to, to really sell it to you, Renault got it into the I mean, help me. Is Stop. it Renault? Renault. 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 Yes. Cool, Renault. <laughs> so from now on, if you hear me say Renault or anyone else say it, then you tell them I mean Abrams and Muhammad Fakir or Miti Focus says it's Renault. So Renault made it the quid made it to the top the top five or number five on the best sellers list um, in South Africa last year. Specifically 2021 guys, so don't bite my head off last year. Um, of course the Toyota Alex being number one, uh, which I mean so kindly reminded me uh, about. But um, yeah, I also want to mention that this car I guess 13 inch, but he mentioned it has 14 inch uh, wheels. And it's not any arrow wheels or nice wheels, but uh, they are in fact hub caps. Um, and you can get, of course, the custom made, uh, custom. Uh, you can have additional rims uh, added if you want to. Uh, but that's obviously at an extra cost. So you would kind of climb into another segment if you do want to go that way. But uh, yeah, I mean, it's completely up to you. Uh, it's definitely a nice car, nice package. Uh, airbags, tell me about airbags. Two airbags in front. Okay. Okay. So you just got a uh, two airbags in the front. Uh, at least not a train smash. Um, you shouldn't expect a whole lot um, when you are looking for budget or especially like your entry level vehicles. But uh, I think the car does definitely feel safe in the cabin. The cabin is nice. The windscreen is a little bit. Is it not as I as I expected? Um, because I think it's those you put those roof rails on here. Eh? Yes. It's the roof rails that really add or elevate uh, your ground clearance in terms of yeah, how you feel the car is inside. But um, yeah, what's the ground clearance on this car? 118. 118. Also, it's not very low on the car. Anyway, yeah, that's the Renault Quid. This is the climber. It starts at 170. 7,000 uh, Rand and this one specifically is 197 so yeah this is your first time watching don't forget to like subscribe and catch me in the next Renault car uh, uh, if you want to until next time bye